The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing through the ministry of VPA. They gave these voluntarily without any directives from VPA. We advise you to always seek your medical practitioner's advice before you make any decisions based on this program. Get ready for incredible testimonies in VPA. Started on him. That thing disappeared and everything was now all right. Shut Jesus! They suddenly! They suddenly! They fire! I saw skin, like snake skin, fall in the bathroom. Shut Jesus! No more insane, no more medical, no more nothing. Go! Shut Jesus! Your story has changed. Wait, God, God, the name of Jesus, your God, story has changed. This man came here last year, did this, did this round for 13 weeks. You announced that three people have a directional problem, they should come out. Come here! You blessed him. That he was not working. Yes. His wife is now here now. The wife is now pregnant. And he's finding a God of the Jesus! Years. One, two, three, fire! Stay tuned for more incredible testimonies in VPA. Victorious Pen. Daddy, only one year in VPA and the mighty healer stepped into his wife's life. His wife had had chronic migraine for over 10 years. Ten years. But now it is gone. Let, let's and yes. Yes, my, wife, my, my wife was suffering from uh, chronic migraine for many years and it would be quite distressing. Um, there would seem to be no solution. We've been going to doctors for, for many years, um, tried different types of medication, but nothing was working. But um, <laughs> she, was the one who, she was the one who was invited to come here, and she came here. And ever since then, she, it stopped. She no longer has migraine. Things have been happening in uh, Shut Jesus! Jesus! And I'd just like to also add that I love her so much, and it was her birthday yesterday. Oh. And I, I thank God for that, because she is a real blessing wonders in our life. Can we appreciate God? Father, thank you for the healing of our wife. Thank you for what you have done in their life. Affliction will not rise again in their life. That migraine will go back to where it comes from. It's already there. Go at this for more in Jesus' name. She used to take over 30 tablets a day. But today, no more tablets. Church Jesus! Jesus! So the son says he, she has taken a total of 10,000 tablets. Let's see, so talk. She's, she takes 10,900 tablets a year. 30 tablets a day. That's what they gave me to give her from when she had a stroke in 2013. It carried on for a whole two years before we came here. And when we came here, we did 10 weeks deliverance and the tablets and now ceased. And I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my arms. And I will praise your name forevermore. Shh. She came here. Is there any improvement? Yes. That was the improvement. She couldn't, she couldn't sit in the chair for more than two hours. We come here, we do all night. We sit in, we visited here for since um, February 9 and we've been coming to this church regularly and she's got better and better. Her health is better, no more medication. They give her painkillers for her pain that she has. But the painkillers are the painkillers they give to people that get their arms cut off or have their legs cut off on top of all the tablets. Now she's not taking anything at all. She's even better. So Thank God for her life. And I will praise you, O oh Lord my God, with all my heart. And I will praise your name forevermore. And now, now she's talking now. When she came in, she could not talk. No, not very well. And now she's talking. Thank you very much. Jesus, my only friend, please help me. Jesus, my only friend. Oh, you said, only oh, said, Jesus, my only friend. You know my heart. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I will praise you, Lord. 
Lord my God, you are my heart. Jesus. Church Jesus. Jesus. I went to see the um, cardiologist on Friday before we had feet washing. And I'd had an MRI scan for my heart because they said I needed to have an urgent operation and because of heart disease. Well, when I saw them on Friday, they're just amazed at the results. They gave me the, 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 the test that I had before saying that I needed to have urgent heart surgery and I had a sarcoidosis in my heart and I also had chronic heart disease. Well, the results that I got on Friday says that everything is clear. They don't see anything wrong. Shut Jesus! Shut Jesus! Jesus! After you have come to do your deliverance here. Yes, seven weeks of deliverance. Seven weeks deliverance. And I've got to say, Daddy, when I first saw you on the Monday, as I walked from you, I had a vision of you. Just many, many people, many, many people. And we went, uh, when we went to fish feet washing on Friday, and I saw the building, because that was the first time for me. What I saw is greater than what was in that, the people that were in that building. I today. know, I know, I know. And that's what I saw. I and I thank God for your life. And I thank God for you because aside from this, I know they had just had me to be dying. That's what the doctor said. Church. I'm him, Jesus Church, said. listen. Imagine if they have gone for the heart surgery. Yes. Imagine if they have done the heart surgery, what would have happened? And he did not do it. He came to where God is and God healed her. Yes. <clears throat> this is what you cannot take from God. Those are natural. This is what many people gather anywhere for God. When men said, you are finished, God brought you alive. Amen. How many cancers were healed that day? Jesus. Or Friday? Mm. Or Sunday? Mm. The woman used to come here, and carry her ad. She's free. She said, she, see them. She said, she see you. Come. He said she see you on TV. Like they used to, they used to attend the state church. What they saw her, not only one. There was a woman that saw her before. On where's that woman? Come, daughter. That woman saw. Come, I know you now. Are you looking back? Abi, I know you now. Come, that woman too saw her in the church. I said, hey, this woman can stay in that place. I will go there. A the woman with cancer, she will have died in that church. That was how she came. He called, he, he called her. He said, I watch your TV. Is she here today? I just travel. Come down. Uh -uh. What am I talking on your behalf? Tell us how you come to this church. Who you saw on TV. Hallelujah. Shout Jesus. Jesus. You are, I used to, we used to see in the church and most of the time they sit at the front. And I said to my sister, these people are in this church and wherever they are, they are there consistently. There must be something wonderful happening here. So, but the church where I was going, they always say, oh, they're always running after miracles. So after December, I decided that I would... Church, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? They are coming your ways. Any church that's against miracle, God is not there. Church, listen. Church. When you go to the back, what do you expect to get there? Money. When you go to um, where they are selling craft food. <laughs> when you go to Tesco, what do you want there? Good food. When you go to church, what do you want in the church? And God said, those things shall follow them that believe. So if you don't believe in miracles, they cannot manifest in your church. Say, I need it. 
It's a miracle. Come. So, um, I think in November, I decided I won't go anywhere. I won't go to direct me. So, my sister went to America and she became ill. So, she came back and she said the following day she's looking for VPA. We watched the telly again. We saw them. And my sister said she was going, but I was very, very sick because I had already started my chemo. So I was so sick, I couldn't even do anything. So one day I had um, a hospital appointment. I came, first of all, I came, put my name down, went for my appointment. By the time I came back, pastor was almost, was finished, was leaving. He did pray for me, but I, I said, no, I need to sit, uh, to stay, you know, to speak to him one to one. So I came back and I told him I'm going to America that I've been shifting my tickets. He said, don't go. I said, I've spent so much money. I've put so much money into it. Every time I change the ticket, they add 300 and something. My pastor said, don't go. And I said, if he says don't go, I'm not going. Say good woman. So um, after seeing pastor, I started my deliverance. When I was doing the deliverance, I told my sister, I don't know how I'm going to do the deliverance because with the chemo, it's every three weeks. It's so tiring and with deliverance, you're not eating, you're fasting as well. You know, I want to do a bit of the fasting. You know, so I started the deliverance that very day. I cannot believe it. I started, I put all the green tea and whatever that I was drinking. I started mixing the three in one. And that was what I lived on. I was drinking three in one all the time. So we did the del deliverance. I will come every day to church. Sometimes I won't be able to stand, but they will tell you, stand everybody, stand up. How I stayed for how many weeks coming to church, walking from that door into the church oh. is just miracle. <laughs> Because sometimes I can my I can't even sometimes I can't even make it and I'll be so sick. My sister will say, but we have to be in church. She will call some of the women that she met here. Somebody will come and uh, pick us up. I will manage and get into the church, you know. So but once I enter the church, I don't know what happens. The strength will come from no Church Jesus. So I managed and um, I was good. I was telling my sister, I don't know what is happening. The last time I was doing chemo, I didn't come out for two years. I didn't step out of my house, you know. So now that they said it's spreading all over my body, this time I'm eating, I'm going out, I'm going to work. I went back to work and I come to church. I stand up. I am here. When I'm here, I am strong. So I went for the CT scan. When the result came out, the doctor, I, I went to see my oncologist. He looked at me, he said, what happened? I said, what? He said, where it's going on your neck, on your in your liver, in your kidney and everything. We can't see anything. Church Jesus! We can find nothing there again. This is miracle. This is what? Do you need miracle? Say, so I receive my miracle. Wow. And this was just less than three months. Not even up to three months because I came here on the 9th of March. Hey. Yes, I came here on the 9th of March. Just a few months ago. Just a few months. So everything was cleared. The doctor was saying, what did you do? <laughs> Church Jesus! Jesus! Hey! It's just 
just amazing. I can't even believe it myself. I don't have number to call you, but I just felt when we come to church, you know, I will be able to come out and testify. Thank you for the strength, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you for giving this pastor, Lord. Thank, Thank you for this Jesus. Take all the glory, Master. Thank you, Jesus. For to set out to shame. And your name is Sandra the Father. Our sister will not come to anybody again. In Jesus' name. Can we appreciate Jesus again? We can do better. We can do better. Wow. Eh? When she came, when I saw her outside, she was calling me and I didn't recognize her because she looked so old. She was like this. I said, when I finally recognized her, because when in the church we used to go to, she used to be very elegant, you know, used to look really nice. But she aged. I said, what happened to you? She said, oh, they said um, I have cancer. I just started laughing. It was outside, outside there. I was laughing. She said, why are you laughing? I said, because in a short time <laughs> you will see your cancer no more ever tell if your time has come Jesus! Jesus we are meant to evangelize he knows our God she said she, she laughed probably she would say why is she laughing with me because I told them this kind of sorrowful that will make her sorrow too she laughed I said, why are you laughing? He said, because I know that you are, you, are, you are in the right place. That in a short time, you will do what you are doing now. And today, he's talking. Shout <laughs> Jesus! Jesus! And again, you saw... <laughs> This year, are you Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, imagine. Praise Master G. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, well. People who don't come here or who say whatever, they don't know what they're missing. <laughs> I am telling you the honest truth. <laughs> I, I feel like, uh, you know, Jesus, I feel like Jesus. jumping, jumping like this. Go, 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 but I, I, I will fall. I don't know how to do it. You know what? It's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> for me, actually, like I said before, for those of you who were here when I testified, I first, first of all saw my sister and the husband on the TV. I said, what are these people doing in the front here? <laughs> there must be something happening there. Because I know them very well. For them to be in church and be in the front uh -uh. seats. Ah, I say, Lord, I want to go to this church. Oh. That was what I said. But I forgot all about it. And suddenly I stumbled into 592. I was looking for Nollywood. And I stumbled into this channel. And people were testifying. I say it's the same VP again, with this my friend, sisters and the husband being there. I said I must find out where this church is. So when I eventually came, I came here with afflictions a lot. And I saw my sister. The first day she saw me, she said, ah, "Are you here?" I said, hey, "What do you mean by am I here?" This <laughs> <laughs> is a comedian, man. Ready? He said, am I here? I said, listen, you oh, see my body, the whole body, attacks everywhere. Uh -uh. He said, Florence, you haven't seen nothing. Uh -uh. He said, you're in the right place. I said, are you sure? Uh -uh. He said, yes. He said, you will see. Uh -uh. I started showing her all the, all the things that were happening to me. He said, just don't worry, continue coming. But I had one leg in, one leg out. Let me tell you the honest truth. 20, uh, 2013, I came. <laughs> I used to go to a different church. When they saw me testify, they started criticizing me. Here. <laughs> and I say, God. Say, don't mind them. Yeah. Don't mind them. So I say to God. So I, I, can, I can see now. I can see. I said I had one leg in, one leg out. But I said there must be something here. Because since I started coming here, my life has changed. I've stopped partying. Things are, oh, my, all my children, doors are opening for them. Me, door is opening for me. I'm telling you, I have my own testimony which I'm reserving. I wanted the, it was two in one. So I'm waiting for the second one to happen Whoa. before I will testify. But I want to tell the church that we are in the right place. Yes. And daddy is doing marvelous work. Yes. Without daddy, I don't know where people like you would have been. Without, without God. And daddy, without what I'm trying God. to say is you that God is using. Yes. Without God presenting and, you. Uh, uh, without, without the God, I have to say without God. Without Church, God. Is, you see, 
Sim, 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 sim. Honestly, the thing you is know, so much... by right, by right, there's no way I can be walking on the street and say, Come, Jesus loves you. When you know what you are passing through. But Jesus knows how to distract people and call them to themselves. And one day I was calling, talking to my, my son, I said, My son, what? No, because you don't, you, you look so innocent. You look so innocent. I said, what do you used to do it for in the world? It was telling me that every day, let's hear. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, what brought actually brought me here? Uh, my cousin Victor usually comes to my house. And Victor, when my he son. Comes yeah. to my house here. Yeah, we go to the garden and then drinking, smoking, Benson and Hedges. Yes. Sometimes you go to. <laughs> That is the truth. <laughs> weed, weed, weed. Weed. Yeah. And then I offered Victor. Victor said, No, he came to see you. And then you told him that he, you could see smoke coming out from his eyes and ears. And... <laughs> I said, Well, I, I will try to stop smoking. Please take me to that place, you know. That um, I made you to stop smoking. And then, first of all, I told my wife, so this is what Victor has been a changed person. We need to go and find this church. <laughs> church Jesus! Wow. This is what you call ministry. Not ministry to people. Yes. People are talking. Yes. What's the point in time? I used to be this and now I am this. Who has done it? That's why we are here. So I sent her first to go and find out. Wow. To investigate. And she came back before she when I talk when she tells me to. Huh? And became, she became a changed person. Huh? I said, What? Huh? You know, she doesn't talk back to me. And so I said, What? And then she she has some kind sort of calm attitude within uh, her. I said, Well, I have to go. <laughs> Definitely that. Church Jesus! <laughs> this is ministry. Yeah. This is ministry. Yeah. And I came. The first day I came. Exactly what you told her about me. That's what you told me. I was shocked. I said, Well, this is real. Wow. And I've just bought a packet of Benson and Hades. <laughs> Shut Jesus! Jesus! The devil is crafty, man. And then I started my your deliverance. And I started my deliverance. That first day. Because normally, when I was in other churches, when I finish fasting, the first thing I break with is cigarette. <laughs> Is it different yeah. in other churches? Yeah. Will, after, after the church, the next day the devil will say, Alpha, can you take one again? Yeah. <laughs> the devil will say, My friend, open that deal. Yeah. But Alpha, when he came here, what happened? Yeah. Um, when I came, on the first day of the deliverance, uh -uh. I didn't know to, for smoking anymore. Uh -huh. And I just bought a packet, it's almost 10 pounds. <laughs> I said, No, I can't, no, I don't think it's true. You know, let me leave it till the following day. The following as well. The third day, the fourth day, I said, oh, this is it. I had to throw the cigarette away. And I noticed that when I went to work, even the smell of cigarettes upset me a lot. Church Jesus! Jesus! And I came for cigarette, and I, I got more, more than cigarette. Um, a, a lot of things happening in my life, and many things I was doing. I stopped it, lying, like, you know, sometimes going to work. I don't feel like going to work. I'm ringing, I'm sick. Well, there I did it. I, I used back pain. That was before I started coming to VC. You see, and the back pain struck me. <laughs> That's not like. Do you know? Do you know? Do, do you know? Um, I just got change you. Yeah. It affect all department. Affect your work. Yeah. The work I see yeah. a different thing. Yeah. Your wife see a different thing. Yeah. People around you are not see different thing. You even you are facing different thing. <sighs> Uh -uh. It wasn't the only one smoking, it was two of us. Before you can stay together, before you can stay together, you have to fit. Yeah. Let me tell you, we will go to the church we used to go to before. We, I won't mention names, but on the way from church, yeah. he will look for a cigarette and say, Where's my cigarette? And I'll say, I smoked it. We'll start fighting. <laughs> church Jesus! Satan is his soup! Jesus is glorified! Church Jesus! Jesus! This is a message. We'll fight, 
from church to home only because of I cigar. smoked his cigarettes. Cigarette. Your last cigar. Daddy, the devil is a liar. He's a bastard. That's why nobody can tell me nothing about VPA. I know what God took away from my life. Pastor, can I just say something very briefly? I'm confused, man. I, I think the most important thing is just to believe. Of course. To believe in what is happening, to believe in the man of God. And I thank my big sister because she said even if she comes here and any, whatever happens, whether it's raining, whether we don't have a car to get here, we must find ourselves here. So, and we believe we threw everything away. We forgot everybody. And we just believed in the man of God. And can I just say the preaching as well. Even when I'm sleeping, everything that you have ministered to us is going around my head and my mind. Even Church Jesus! 